we did some musical improv, All Skates. Yeah, All Skates. So that was born out of Second City. I was really interested. I had been to, so I did some classes at UCB, and I did a bunch of classes at the Groundlings. And the one thing that I kind of hadn't tackled in the foray of improv was musical improv. And I just thought, oh, what a perfect meeting of the worlds for me. When Shuli joined the cast of Goodnight Burbank, I had heard about this show that she has um, called Opening Night that I think they've been running for like 12 years wow. at I.O. West. And I went to go see them and I was just floored, just floored. They're genius. And I was flabbergasted. They improvise an hour-long Broadway musical. And it's full, well-structured songs, full choreography, and they have an accompanist who it just seemed like magic to me. I was completely captivated by it. So you, at that time... How do you improvise sorry. choreography? It's an interesting thing. I mean, basically what happens is that you, you start to feel your people around you mm -hmm. and somebody starts a step and within two steps, everybody's doing the same thing. So it's, it's magical. It's group think. Okay. Yeah, it is. It's, it's it is group think. In, in the communication to know. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I started to come though, with familiarity with the people you're working with in order to I'm, understand and anticipate what they may do next. That you're watching. Yes. And um, like musical jazz, improv is like jazz musicians. That's exactly right. That's a that's a great analogy. Um, you know, and and musical improv is one of the only forms of improv, I think, that absolutely requires a rehearsal process. Because you have to understand, there is, a, there is a structure to it in that there's a beginning, middle, and an end. When you're making a Broadway musical, you have to get to an end. We're not, you know, it's not game playing, it's, it's a structure. There's a plot. So anyway, um, we took, I went through the, everything that the musical improv program at Second City had to offer. And um, we decided, my friend and I decided, who also comes from a musical theater, New York background, that we should form a group. And... We wanted to differentiate ourselves from opening night because they're just so phenomenal and doing their own thing. So we're like, okay, we'll do a half hour long musical instead of the hour long. And we just shook it up a little bit. And um, we auditioned a bunch of folks to come join us. And that was all state. We actually wound up being a second city team that played on Friday nights for well over a year, which was super fun. That's an amazing run. And it seemed like, because I would follow the post. I followed All Skate on, I think, uh, on Facebook. So I would follow right. the post. And it seemed like everybody was having a blast uh, doing it. was such a good time. It's, you know, it's such an amazing way to exercise your mind. It's, it is operating full throttle because you're using all your skill sets. It's, it's pretty amazing. Do you imagine being anything else but a creative artist and a performer? No. Okay. Um, it's what you are, not what you do. I think, I think that I'm just creative okay. and I, I don't think that I can not, not be creative. And at times I wish that I didn't have that incredible drive to be creative because life would be probably much simpler. Is that what drives um, you? What, is that what drives me? Is, is that what drives you, the need to be creative? Absolutely. So what do you, yeah. have, coming up, what do you have coming up this summer? What are you doing? So in two and a half weeks, I'm headed up to Sonoma to perform with the, uh, yeah, the unbelievable Transcendent Theater Company. They're just brilliant. And you did that uh, last year, right? I Is did. It? I did. Their, it was their inaugural year. Okay. Uh, and it was a huge success. And they just have such a, um, such a phenomenal group of people that come up there and their, their company culture is magical. It's exactly are, the kind of thing that I want to be doing. What are the dates? Um, so I'll be up there from July 6th through the 22nd. And where can people see you? They can come see us. Well, they can check out transcendencetheater.org. Um, and they can also visit wendyrosoft.com for any pertinent information. Okay. Do you know where And then directly after that, I'm choreographing a production of Cabaret. Okay. Where are you doing Cabaret? Uh, in LA. Okay. Yeah. That be so fun. That's 
that's what's up on the docket next. And then we'll be we'll be heading into episodic season here very soon. So I'll stay in LA and, and start re auditioning for uh, episodic stuff. All right, that's wonderful, Wendy. Thank you so much. This has been great. People can follow you on uh, on Twitter. On Twitter at Wendy Rosoff. And at Facebook. Wendy Rosoff page. And they can like you there. And WendyRosoff.com is your website. That's it. And this has been wonderful. Thank you so much. It has. Thank you, Jeff.